exercise ball on stomach. Hello everybody, it's Mr. Barton for Victory Physical Education Online and we're here today to do a body ball workout on the ball. Now, these are the drum fit balls that we use for drum fit. We can also use them for exercise, especially core exercises because when you sit on the ball you have to stabilize yourself and use those core muscles. So our, our first workout that we did was on our back. This one is going to be a lot of it on our stomach. Okay, we're also going to do some upper body okay, in the arms as well today. Uh, we're only going to do a couple exercises. This is just a warm up. So we're going to start with what we did last time is we're just going to kind of bounce on that ball a little bit, very softly. And then we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. All right, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, just ten. Okay. Now for this one, uh, we're going to be a little different than the one we did at our back. What we're going to do is we're going to have our stomach on the ball. All right. So when we have our stomach on the ball, we lie on it like this. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple walkout. And we're just going to do ten. So we're going to walk out. So kind of our knees to our feet are on the ball. So I start in this position and I walk out onto the ball, all right? And then I walk back. Again, you're gonna have to keep your balance, all right? So we're just gonna do 10 of those, all right? So starting now, we're just gonna walk out, so your knees to your feet, and then walk back. That was one. There was two. You gotta balance yourself on that ball. This is three. This is four. How far can you get out there? I got my knees on the ball. Some of you might be able to keep your feet on the ball only. Again, we got to support ourselves. That was six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, guys. Here we go. Can you walk it out and balance on that ball? Quite the workout. All right, so that was our number one. All right, actually the second one we did. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk out, do a push-up, just one push-up though, okay? Actually five all together. So you're gonna go out, do a push-up, go back. I'm just gonna do that five times. So it's a walk out to a push-up. Try to get that bend in your arm, the little bit of you can, use those triceps as well. All right, so that looks like this. I'll show you first, let you practice it maybe once or twice. So you walk out. Oh, got to keep my balance. Push up and then walk back. We're only doing five of those. So don't get too, too mad at me here. All right, here we go. Walk out. There's one. Walk it back. Four to go. And there's two. Walk it back. Walk it out. Three. I'm getting a good workout here. Two more, guys. Four. Come on, you can do it. Even if it's just a little bend in that arm. There's five. And then come on back. All right. Whew. Yeah. Not only core, a little bit of upper body as well. Okay. So the next one, our single leg. And, uh, there's an arm reach. I'm tired. You're going to reach out your arm and you're going to pick up your leg. I will show you what it looks like. We're just going to do uh, a 10 total. All right, that's five on each leg. So this is a single arm reach and a leg lift. All right, I'm winded. All right, hopefully you are too. Again, just sitting on the ball like this is a good core exercise. Next one looks like this. So this is a single arm, single leg lift. So if I lift my, I walk out, I put my, lift my right arm and my left leg and then come back. And I walk back out and I lift my left arm and my right leg and then walk back. We're only gonna do that five times. So you're alternating, right arm, right leg. All right, so we walk out, here we go. Right arm, left leg, and then back. So we walk out, left arm, right leg, and then back. And we walk out, right arm, left leg, and then back, this is four, left arm, right leg, all right, so you're alternating, whoa, 
Okay, that was harder than I thought. All right, so we're coming back up. Yep, again, working on our stomach, working on our core muscles, a little bit of our arm muscles. I'm winded, I'm tired. We got one more to go. This is the hardest one. This is the plank. Now, when you do this, you're gonna put your forearms on the ball and we're gonna hold it for a count of 20. I'm gonna show you what it looks like first. All right, so you're on the ball. Okay, and I want you to put your forearms on the ball and your legs straight behind you. And you're gonna hold that position. All right, you've done a plank before on the floor. Now we're gonna do it on an exercise ball. It's a little harder, all right? So I want you to get in position. We're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. If you're doing this right, keep your hips up, keep your body straight. You should feel all those muscles working in your core. All right, here we go, last one. Here we go. So you're on the ball with your forearms looking straight ahead. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can feel it. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whew. Did it. Well done. And you got a little core workout, a little upper body workout. Body ball, you can do lots of things. Just sitting in the chair, again, works on your core. Or sitting on the ball, also just works your core. So this was our warm up, And now we're gonna get ready for a drum fit exercise. Again, thanks for watching. And remember, exercise 60 minutes a day your way. Four, three, two, one, go.